This is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning. This weekend, a group of magically talented and creative individuals come together to show off their mm -hmm. skills at the Washington State Sugar Artist Cake Show. Does that sound great or what? This is their 15th year, and the theme is History Through the Ages. Here to teach us how to do a little sugar art is cake decorator and instructor Annie Cave. Hi there. How are Hello. you? Hello. You have such beautiful work here, and we'll look at that Thank a little you. bit more. But what are we making today? Yes, yeah, so we're going to be making a spring leaf. A spring if leaf. Anybody lives near me, they know all the leaves have popped out in the last 48 hours and we went from being sticks to glorious. Yes. So, so you have what here? So what I have is isomalt. This is basically boiling sugar mm -hmm. and there's a couple different forms it comes in. You can either boil your own and turn it into these giant shards of glass. You can kind of see this here. Wow, look at or that. Or you can buy them already pre-cooked and they come in little nibs. Huh. And then you just melt these. And then you melt these. But you are working with sugar that's really over 300 degrees. So that's what these Be gloves careful. are for. These are yeah, very yeah. thick. And I have cotton underneath that's going to protect me from the heat if I accidentally stick my finger in it. So how did you color that? So I just used basic food coloring. Okay. Although, granted, these are gel colors, not really your off-the-market shelf Got watercolors. It. All right, so yeah. you've got a little mold here. Yes, this is silicone, and we're on a silicone mat. mat. Both of these can go very high, almost uh, above 400 degrees, so it makes it much easier to work with, although our sugar's not that hot. Yeah, but <laughs> be careful yes. if, you, if you ever yes. try this at home. Okay, let me let you pour, because so, I know this has to cool for a bit, and what I have I'm other questions do, for you. This one right here is a light yellow, and mm -hmm. so I'm going to pour this first, and I'm going to go a little bit small so that we have a chance that it will actually dry for us. Yeah. So I'm going to hit it with a little yellow first and then we're going to come back with some green and so that we can get some variation. Just and like so, leaves have, either so they're darker tipped or lighter exactly. tipped. Exactly. This is where the fun part happens. So the How colors start to swirl. Keep from getting it to go over the edge of the mold? Well, last Just night it went practice? over the edge a couple times. So okay. yeah, it's definitely <laughs> practice. Okay. And it's okay if it does. Honestly, leaves themselves are very unusual and if you don't like the way part of it looks, you can just kind of snap it off okay. and remelt it and start again. Now, is somebody going to actually eat this at the end of the day? Uh, they could, although, to be honest, I did not flavor it, mm -hmm. and so it wouldn't really have much flavor right now, but this is how you would make sugar-free hard candies. So if you oh. wanted to add, you could make a caramel flavor, you could made passion out of fruit. sugar. It is made out of sugar, but it's a, it's a different stabilized form of sugar. So when you heat it up, especially to the high temperatures, it doesn't turn caramely yellow. It wow. stays beautiful clear. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, how'd you get into this? Well, you know, I just, I started seeing some of the TV shows years ago and, you know, Mike McCary and mm -hmm. some of these early ones. He's one of our local artists, you know right. that. And they were making these gigantic cakes and I kind of just said, I can do that. And so I jumped right <laughs> and in you did. and I took a class with Mike and here you go. All of a sudden I just see something and go, I can try that. And YouTube is my friend. That, <laughs> yes, YouTube is everybody's friend. It's mm -hmm. amazing what all you can learn there. Yes. Okay, so there's going to be a sugar and art competition, correct? Absolutely. Yes. And so what happens there? So at the show, it's an opportunity for people to come in and participate in decorating. What I'm doing right now is I'm just lifting these up so it'll give it a little bit of natural come organic shape. Come back to us shape. from the pictures, would you, for just a second to see what she's doing? Because she's putting there. cookie cutters underneath various parts of the, of the, the leaf. Yeah. And then when it's all done, it's going to look like this one. Uh-oh. It's going to look like these two. Um, <laughs> Now look, uh, so it's delicate. Please yes. be careful with it. You could break it. Yeah. Uh, but they'll, you know, they'll have these little variations in their shape as yeah. a result. I'm so sorry. I just That's broke right. the stem off your leaf. But well, here, want we'll me put to show it you back. how to fix it? Yes. Let's. Oh have my you ever gosh. Used a brulee torch. Okay. Here, I'm going <laughs> to put this over here more towards okay. you. Do it. Sure. Oh, this is All right. fun. So, it won't be perfect, but we'll get it close. So I'm gonna basically get my fire going. Get and your you stem back. And you heat up both ends. Okay. So in this case, I only have two hands. So be careful. Gotta be a little careful. No, it's fine. Okay. So we're gonna put that back together. Oh, this is fun. We're gonna let that sit for a second. So if we make a mistake like I just did, we can, Not we can a problem. kinda fix it. Yeah. We'll just snap that piece off. So we're just gonna put this back on. If we get one stabilized, then we can put the butterfly back in. And the butterfly was holding it together? No, the butterfly was just decorative. Just on top. But okay. my hope was if we can get this cool enough that you'll mm -hmm. be the one to unpeel it and so you can set oh, it into our little yeah, vignette no, here. Probably not, but that's... Oh, <laughs> come on. I would hate It'll to do that It'll be just fine. <laughs> okay. 
I love watching you do this, though. This is like blown glass almost. Exactly. In fact, it's funny that you mentioned that. I learned how to do this last October because my brother is a glass blower, and I was making his wedding cake. How about that? So, so are I these don't... things normally like you'd make a cake and then you would put these around it? Uh, you can do that, or you can stick them directly on the cake as well. So sugar sticks to sugar, and apparently to my finger, too. There <laughs> we go. I help you, but oh, there I'm only going to make no, I got it. Hey, we're much better now. I won't yeah. pick these up, but let's talk yes. about what these So are. I like to refer to those as galaxy spheres. In this case, they are solid sugar, mm -hmm. and they've been poured at different temperatures, and that's what gets the colors to bloom and to oh. make these cool, swirly <laughs> shapes. And you never know really what you're going to get. And this is what I'm demonstrating on Saturday. So I'll start the process at 11 a.m., and then at 4.45, the same day on Saturday, I'll be unmolding them so that people can see what actually came out. Wow, and they can kind of learn how to yeah. do it. Now, this yeah. one's neat. It's, um, it's got a little stem to it, but I, yeah. if we can get a shot of what this looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, yeah. You've got this amazing swirl, and then it has a little sugar stand it can stand yeah. on. Maybe it's a little thing. Yeah, it did have a, a bigger squiggly to it. Yeah. <laughs> And so yeah. you make these, obviously, there's some kind of silicone circle that these there get poured are, into? Yes, there's sphere molds that I, I managed to buy somewhere along the way. Now, if somebody wanted to learn how to do this at home, yes. you could go to, to YouTube. You but could go to YouTube. I it would seems like a person would be an easier yes, source yes. of the information. I, I would go to Don's Candy and Cake. Uh, the great thing is they're the sponsor of the cake show, but in addition to that, Dawn has everything in her shop, but she'll teach you anything you want to learn. So she does have a list of classes online already, but what I do is I'll call her up and tell her what I want to do. So I actually owe my grandbaby a fish class, so we're going to be sculpting <laughs> a fish out of a out of a 9 by 13 and turning it into a three-dimensional, and she'll get how to learn amazing. how to use an airbrush, and we're going to do that at Dawn's. Now, I want to ask you about the competition, but one quick yeah. thing. Obviously, these are kind of fragile. When you yes. make these orbs, are they more more oh, they're intact. very sturdy. So yes. you could have that around forever. It's not going to mold or anything? Well, none of these would mold. In fact, that's actually why I brought this spray. Because of our humidity, it turns sugar to liquid, and mm -hmm. it just starts to get sticky and gummy, and it's gross. So what you can do is you can actually seal it with this spray. And what the spray does, it's kind of like putting the spray that's on the outside of a Skittles. It just seals it and makes it smooth wow. and shiny. Okay. Yeah, so completely right. edible. So tell me a little bit about what's going to happen at the at the event when the sure. cake and, and sugar artists I've never even heard of a sugar artist before but I'm so glad yeah. to know cake carvers, when they all sugar come together artists, chocolatiers yeah. you know it's basically all the all it's the breadth heaven. Of it's sugar heaven. stuff we'll see stuff like this and yeah. how will people compete so there's all different divisions. So you're basically, you can compete in a category and a division. So a division basically represents your level of experience or mm -hmm. whether you make money doing it. So in my case, I compete as semi-professional, but I my first cake show in 2011, I competed as a beginner. So I've just been progressing my way right. through the divisions. And, and people then in learn categories, a lot from one another, right? Absolutely. And this? this is one of the most supportive shows that I've ever seen nor heard of. Our judges are really not about being critical and judging. They're about scoring you appropriately, but then they'll make notes about what you can do to be better and mm -hmm. they'll say come see me and I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's so great. It's As a great. learning experience. Absolutely. Is it open to the public? It is in two different ways. So anybody can join and participate as a competitor. Children are free if they're under a certain age but anybody can join and it's not too late. You can put a cake in up until uh, Sunday, no sorry, excuse me, Saturday, Saturday. morning at 8 a.m. And then other than that, people can come and walk the floor, and it's free to the public to walk the floor. And there's a small fee if you wanted to sit through the demonstrations. And just see and, it. And you'll see basically eight hours or ten hours of, you know, competition level demonstration. Before we try to peel this, let me take yeah. a look at some of your cakes because sure. these are spectacular. Sure, that's my brother's wedding cake. That uh, is so amazing. You, so basically there was a bunch of glass blowers at the show, and they walked up and they just could not believe it. I, I did blown apples, a blown pumpkin, Good a grief. bunch of these spheres. You can see the leaves are all throughout. But you can see how you can really leverage color. In this case, I have brought a demonstration that was from last fall, and now we're making spring leaves. And you can make them vibrant, and right. they can glow. Look at this one. Oh, that a was my unicorn. grandbaby's birthday cake. It was, we call it the rainbow sparkle cake. That was one of my cake show entries. It was a it was a joke cake. If that's a cake, if a dog is having a birthday party, make a cake for twenty people and eight dogs. Oh my god! So that's why there's a squirrel with squirrel <laughs> treats. Squirrel. Yeah, exactly. In there. Look and at this, this one. is a technique that I created. It's cloisonné, so it's imitating yeah. the ancient ancient enamel and metalworking technique. So I was painting with both a translucent and opaque 
icing that I made and it dried completely flat, smooth, like a mirror. And so this was a cube cake where it had each of the seasons of Rainier going around the sides oh, and Google Earth looking down on the top. That is, you're amazing. Oh, completely thank you. Completely amazing. Thank you so much. We'll thank work you. on this in the commercial break. The 15th yeah. annual Washington State mm -hmm. Sugar Artist Cake Show is this weekend, May 4th through 6th at the Angel of the Winds Arena in Everett. Mm -hmm. After the break, CNN political commentator Sally Cohn looks at the roots of hatred and keys to overcoming mm -hmm. it with mm -hmm. stories from her own experiences after this.